Hello students! In this video you will learn about narrative conventions. Narrative conventions are used in English classes to create or analyze narratives. Narrative is a different word for stories. When we are talking about narrative conventions, we are looking into the futures of stories. These narratives can be real, non-fiction, or made-up stories, fiction. Whenever we are studying a text, we will ask you to look into these features, so let's get into it. There is some debate on which conventions are the real narrative conventions. I always break it down to the following. 1. Plot 2. Characterization 3. Setting 4. Point of view and finally 5. Language I always remember them best as the main ingredients for a story. In the following series of videos, we will break them down one by one. However, I will introduce these ingredients to you now. Plot Plot is the structure of a narrative text. Every good narrative seems to be following a three-act structure. In the first one, you introduce your main character's setting and conflict. In your second act, you build the problem further out. And in the third, the conflict will be resolved. Characterization. Characterization is another word for character development, as a story without character development is not really a story. When we are looking at characterization, we are focusing on the character's speech, thoughts and feelings, effects on others, actions and looks. I will refer to these characteristics as still. Setting. The setting is the time and place in which a story is taking place. This can be very important for the character or genre of your narrative. For example, horror stories are mainly set at night and westerns are often set in the past. Point of view. A point of view is another word for perspective. A point of view is the perspective from which a narrative is told. This can be from a character within the story or a neutral voice. And finally, we have our language. Language is very specific to the text type we are studying. If we are studying a novel, we are looking for a combination of dialogue and narration. And in a poem, we are looking for poetic devices. In a screenplay, we are mainly looking for dialogue. I hope that this has helped you understanding the basic narrative conventions. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the section below. See you at the next one.